I've been on a mission to see how long a human being can read until they physically cannot withstand it any longer. In the first experiment I conducted, I read for 16 hours straight, but I was simply too afraid of the dark to continue. So in order to eliminate that factor, I have a new strategy. I packed my bags, called my mom, and headed to a remote location. This way, Mama Fam could protect me and I could leave all the lights on, all night long. Whoever decorated this place really likes Twilight. It's like the fourth Breaking Dawn book I've seen on the shelf. <sighs> Mom, you're gonna keep me company tonight, right? Uh, yes. You're gonna protect me from the dark? Perfect. <laughs> but I do have a very specific plan for how I'm gonna read what I'm gonna read because last time I absolutely fumbled the bag and it was so preventable. So here's the plan. If I learned anything from the first experiment, it's that what you read and the order in which you read it is the most important part. So I will be starting with a murder mystery trilogy and the first book I'm already 50% of the way done with because starting a book is the hardest part. Then I'll pick up an easy romance book. Easy, boom, done. Then I'll move on to the second book in the murder mystery trilogy. I'm already invested in the characters. Should be exciting. Then I move on to another book that I know will only take me five hours to read and then I move on to the third book in the murder mystery trilogy. This plan should hopefully keep me encouraged and keep me on a continuous path down the reading river. But if you know anything about my videos that's usually not how it goes so let's see how this plan works out. Okay I guess this is happening. Once I click this I can't stop so. Oh frick. Okay here we go. Yeah. I don't think I understood the weight of what I did by clicking that timer. Was I prepared to sit on my butt for the next 50 hours and glue my eyes to paper and ink? No, but I threw myself into the deep end and you know what? I think I started learning how to swim. Almost done with hour one, baby. First hour done, let's go, let's go. Page 281 of my first book. Two hours! Page 341 of my book. It's getting so good. Oh, I'm already like going a little insane. Almost done with book one. Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. I had to eat. I had to use the toilet. I had to. Yes, I, yes, I had to do these things. But I had to keep reading through them. Because I am a warrior. And nothing was going to keep me from reading my books. Do I remember what I was reacting to at all? No. I remember it was epic though. Strong start to the video, I cannot lie. What the heck? What the heck is happening? Yo, book one done. Two hours, 35 minutes. First book done. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like this is a good five stars. Done. The plan was to next read just a, like a, a random romance book, right? But I don't want to. I want to read the next book in the trilogy. Is that so wrong? I mean, I could get sucked into this whole trilogy and be good for hours. Uh, that sounds good to me. The thing with this, this video is I have to follow my gut. If I go the path that holds the most resistance, I'm gonna fail. And that's just the truth of the matter. So let's read good girl, bad blood. Before the daylight escaped us, I decided to go on a little walk. Oh, a little cute little free library outside the Airbnb, so cute. This is for the kids. But yeah, look how impressive this is. I'm, I'm literally walking while reading, it's so cool. My eyeballs are trying to adjust to the outside world. They're very blurry, but I gotta keep reading. It's 5 p.m. and it's getting dark. This is nonsense, I'm already getting sleepy. And if I'm already getting sleepy now at 5 p.m., I got a lot coming for me. So, I'm gonna go to a Starbucks where I can't fall asleep in public. Great plan, right? This plan was successful for two hours. And then trouble hit, like a hurricane. Seven hours! Seven hours. Seven hours. I'm doing great. Second book in the trilogy, page 178. Spirits are high, book is getting good. Am I concerned for the all-nighter I'm about to pull? Yes. We'll cross that bridge quite shortly, actually. Burr, I'm so cold. Thank goodness I have this tie-dye girly pop hoodie embroidered, such nice quality. This is my merch, if you're a girly pop, you can get it at HaleyFam.com. Seven hours, pretty early to start descending into madness, but I can say it only gets worse from here. Here's the trip in love. I can't wait to get cozy on the couch and read my book. Eight hours. Page 250. Nine hours, <laughs> I missed it. Nine hours, woo! 
finish the second book. It's been 10 hours, 30 minutes. This is the hardest part, it going into the nighttime. My eyes hurt, feeling a little hazy behind the eyes and not being invested in a book. While we creep into the night hours, that's getting dangerous. So we need to choose carefully. Okay, I can't help it. These two down, might as well just knock this one out. I can feel the onset of a headache starting. It's 11.30 p.m. and I'm already cracking. 200 milligrams of caffeine, baby. A fun fact that you may not know about reading is that just six minutes can reduce your stress by 6%. Oh wait, no, that's not the fact. <laughs> just six minutes of reading can reduce your stress by 60%. And frequent readers have better sleep, which explains why it was so difficult for me to stay awake during these night hours. Let alone the extreme paranoia I experience on a daily basis, sure. But intensify that with a house that creaks a little bit and reading a murder mystery. Okay, I was having a very difficult time for a multitude of reasons, but I tried my best to stay awake throughout the entire night, okay? The next morning, I packed my books and began reading on our hour-long road trip home. And if not sleeping was challenge enough, the car sickness that I experienced, oh boy. Just watching this footage is giving me flashbacks. Car sickness is a different type of nausea. I was confused. I had a headache, and overall spirits were low. Uh, hey guys, I'm extremely unwell, but I'm back home now. I feel disgusting, like I need to take a shower. Book's getting good, so I'm kind of excited to read right now. And we're almost at 24 hours. <laughs> Bruh. Feeling good. The book is so good, I chose the best series for this challenge. My head hurts, my, yeah, my head really hurts, really bad. I have no sense of time. My voice sounds strange from staying up really late. I don't know. Why does it sound like that? Why does it sound like that? Um, I'm paranoid. It's having effects. It's like, physically it's having effects, effects on me. This is gonna be embarrassing to edit. 24 hours, let's go. <sighs> 24 more to go. The last page. <laughs> I finished the whole series. 28 hours and 30 minutes to finish this whole series. Now the hard part, starting a new book. We are about to approach 30 hours of reading, so I wasn't gonna go for an impressive book, okay? At this point, I'm choosing the shortest romance book I could find, and it happens to be this weird Christmas book. And yes, it was bad. I do not recommend you read this. 30 hours! I feel strange because it doesn't... I feel good. TBH. And I think it's all in the book selection. I feel fired up right now. It's only 7 p.m. I'm in it for the long haul. Hey, friends. <sighs> Let's see how long it's been. Oh, just turned 33 hours. Um... <sighs> Como se dice, reaching a breaking point. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna go crazy. In this video, I'm scared. I got myself a quesadilla because I feel like perhaps there's no carbs in my brain so I can't read. I chose a short book so that I would be motivated by the by the notion of finishing it. So I have about 90 pages left, which is pretty good. Here's a glimpse into this experience without all the music. That's gonna make a person pretty sleepy if you ask me. And it did, it did make me sleepy, but I kept persevering. You know why? I had to remember why I was reading so much in the first place. Yes, it might be for a YouTube video. Yes, I'm trying to get some views, okay? I hope you're watching this and I hope you're freaking enjoying it. But did you know reading can increase your empathy? Yeah. By imagining different stories or scenarios, you're actually lighting up the part of your brain that can help understand people more, their circumstances, their point of view, their motives. And yeah, maybe I was reading a stupid Christmas book, but I was seeing from a different point of view. So I kept reading until finally, finally, the morning came. Welcome to day three of reading. I honestly, I'm not that sick of reading. I'm sick of sitting. The only thing I've done for the past two days is sit and then sleep. Somewhere along the night, I must have not been comprehending because this morning reading, definitely some things I, I missed out on in the plot there. Another book done. 
makes it four books. What's next? With only four hours remaining of this challenge, this brought me up to 63 books read this year. And if that seems impressive, never forget that I forced myself to read four of those books during a 50 hour straight time period. The pressure to choose a book to finish out this challenge weighed heavy upon my soul, so I tried this pirate book and I just couldn't get into it. I decided that doing my morning Bible time still counted as reading, but it didn't feel like it, so that was great, held me over for an hour. And lastly, I settled myself into a nice romance book to conclude this 50 hour challenge. Fifty hours. Good night. Oh. And when I finally closed my book for the last time and stepped out into the world, I found I saw it in a new light. I had longed to see a person face to face and to audibly hear their laugh, rather than just merely reading about it on a page. And I found myself wanting to look up rather than to look down, probably because of the intense neck pain that I had experienced from looking down for the past 50 hours. Reading itself is great, yes, but it's the force that inspires you to create your own story that I think makes it beautiful.